You know, it's really best that you avoid the narcissist at all costs. Y'all have to learn that the best thing to do is avoid the narcissist at all costs. You see, they are everything that is wrong with this world. They are everything that is wrong and everything that are wrong with this world. They won't even allow peace. They don't feel compassion for other living beings. They are driven by ego, greed, and a need to control. Instead, they provoke chaos because they like it. That's the lesson here. As hard as it is for your mind to accept, quite a few people are bad seeds. Apparently, quite a few people out there have a lack of control of themselves that resembles demonic possession. They unplug from their humanity and worship ego. It's a rabbit hole. Existence versus truth and reality. What are you actually engaging with? Think about it. You're engaging with the pathologically selfish, non-empathetic, anti-gratitude, arrogant user that doesn't give a F if you live or die. It's the most important thing to avoid. It has nothing positive to offer you. It offers up confusion. It offers up selfish. It offers up evil intentions. It isn't hard to avoid them at all if you know what you're dealing with. You have to understand, y'all, you have to avoid narcissists at all costs. You should definitely be wary of a narcissist. They come across as charismatic. They charm people. And they're so incredibly sociable that no one would ever suspect a darker side. They're almost too friendly and helpful at first. Almost too eager and overzealous in the beginning of a relationship. Y'all got to understand that. They'll be in love after two weeks. Most of them two days, if you ask me. They'll be your soulmate. You'll be destined to be together. That fate brought you together, right? That they've been waiting for you their whole life, right? Yada, yada, yada. It'll be all about being with you. Texting and calling and planning things together, right? All this future faking. It's not real. They'll smooth you and gain your trust and then they'll begin to slowly destroy you with verbal and emotional abuse they'll begin to criticize you they'll start gaslighting you they'll try to push you away from friends and family from your job so they can manipulate and control your life they'll lie all the time and then badmouth you behind your back they'll verbally attack you constantly they'll break your belongings and they'll take over everything that you love, everything that you own. You have to always be wary of a narcissist because the narcissist will turn on you in a heartbeat. They'll be nice to you one minute and tearing you down the next. They'll become a raging lunatic from zero to a hundred in the blink of an eye. A narcissist can never be trusted. They will never be sincere, never honest, and definitely never faithful to you. Be wary of the narcissist, y'all. You have to pay attention to the signs. And this is why it's so important, if you can, to go no contact with narcissists. These individuals are not screwing around. And they are very, very dangerous. They are emotional terrorists. And they will leave you bamboozled. It's not even funny, y'all. Then as you are suffering and you're stuck in the fog, they'll laugh and smirk at you. You see, they are master manipulators. And they create illusions that you don't want to play around with. Please learn, y'all, from the many damaged people who are trying to heal after going through this kind of emotional abuse. Y'all, listen, if you think that you are dealing with a narcissist and you're not sure, and you are somebody who do not want to be dealing with a narcissist, go no contact because it's not worth it. I don't care how long you've been knowing them or if you just met them. It's not worth it. If you're even questioning if you're dealing with a narcissist, that alone is worrisome. This is somebody you need to get away from. I'm just saying. I don't care if they're a friend or a supposed to be lover. I highly advise you to go no contact because nobody deserves the abuse of a narcissist. 
I hope y'all take my advice because it's important. Y'all get people DM me all the time telling me they don't know if they're dealing with a narcissist. They're not sure if they're dealing with a narcissist. But when I start asking people, what are, what are they seeing? What makes you think you're dealing with the narcissist? The things that people call out, they are definitely dealing with the narcissist. And a lot of times people know. They just don't want to let go. People get trapped in the fog really early on. And they can't see it for what it really is. And a lot of times, y'all, you can try to avoid a narcissist. and they're, but, but, but they're so manipulative you may not even realize you're encountering a narcissist until you educate yourself and learn how they play their game in order to set up the right boundaries for yourself to protect yourself from them. You see, when you educate yourself, you can spot the red flags and the red flags will alarm you to set the certain boundaries with them. And if you must be around them, if you have to be around them, like certain work coworkers, right, or, or family members, if they're not your coworkers or family, it's best to avoid them. I say avoid them if they're your co-workers and your family. But sometimes some people can't avoid certain family members for certain reasons. And they can't avoid certain co-workers. Right? So if you can't do that, you have to know your self-worth. Educate yourself on self-worth. And as nonchalant as self-worth sounds, it's the most powerful tool to combat a narcissist with. When you know your self-worth, you have an aura of what you will and will not deal with around you. You see, education helps you know the red flags on how to spot the signs of a narcissist and their tactics. They can't win if you don't play their games. I suggest always not playing any games with a narcissist, not ever, because you can very well lose. You will lose, most likely. They're very skilled at what they do. And you get so tangled up in a web of emotional turmoil until you tap out when you, when you choose to play the game. They'll leave you feeling worthless, hurt, helpless, shamed, broken, and a whole lot of mixed negative feelings. This is why I push education over anything else. Because when you know better, you move better. You'll know what you're dealing with and how to handle these individuals. I'm just saying, y'all. I have to learn how to avoid these individuals. You know, look at it this way, right? You have an old beater of a car. The car still looks good, but mechanically, it continues to let you down, right? It is undependable. It is frustrating. It is negatively affecting your life because you are putting everything into this car just to keep it running so you can get on with your life, right? It becomes so discouraging that this object that you have loved and cared for is not giving you anything back. One day you go out to your precious car and the POS will not start again, right? You've had enough. You have dumped too much time and too much money into it, right? You call a tow truck and you have it junked. You're done. You feel bad. You missed that old car. You loved it. Took care of it. And when it first, when you first obtained it, it was good to you. Right? And for you. Man, you missed that car. Right? But do you miss it enough to go back to the junkyard and have it towed back to your local mechanic so you can, ha so you can dump more love, money, and time into it? No, you remember all of the heartache it gave you. You leave it where it is. And you move on. You eventually get over that old car, right? You might think about the good times you had with it every now and then. But you still leave it alone. Same thing you do with a narcissist. You must junk it. It is not a person with any humanity. It is a broken and no mechanic. It is really broken down, completely shattered. And no mechanic has the skills to fix the narcissist, especially you. You cannot follow the narcissist or have them or bring them back into your life. Their life is the junkyard. And they were, you know, only there trying to suck you into the yard with them. That's how you have to view narcissists, y'all. Or whatever analogy that you can come up with that works for you. 
You have to deal with a car that is dependable and trustworthy. One that you took care of, right? And it takes care of you. It gets you where you need to be in your life. It takes you to work and back home. It takes you to the hospital when, when, when someone's ill, when you're ill. You drive it through the mountains to clear your head. Although it's just an object, you can still depend on it, right? The narcissist is junk. And if you ignore the narcissist in time, you will find that no, they actually go away. And we know that narcissists hoover, right? We know that they never stop, right? We know this. But if you put yourself in a position where you set boundaries, where they can't not get back in your good graces, they have to go away. Narcissists are lazy and they hate to work. They have to find them another supply. They just have to. It's the way it works. I'm just saying, this is how it works, y'all. You have to let the narcissists go about their business and let them get somebody else to do it. As long as it's not you. They have people out there who will support the narcissists and all their bullshit and all the shenanigans. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. One thing about the narcissist, if you fail to ignore the narcissist, you will never get out of the junkyard. You will be left broken and abandoned next to many other people who they abused. Your life will be crushed, but unfortunately not recycled. That is why you have to ignore the narcissist and avoid them at all costs. Y'all, we're living in 2024. Nobody has time for that. Let the narcissist get somebody else to do it. Let these individuals play with their own kind. This is what we must do. Don't let anybody tell you the narcissist misses you. The narcissist cares about you. Get the narcissist back for what they did to you. You have the right to be angry. Yes, in the beginning, okay, fine. Everybody's angry at first, right? It's a normal humanic feeling, right? But you don't walk around with all this anger in your heart trying to pay the narcissist back, trying to get back at the narcissist, trying to seek out revenge, right? Trying to jump down to their level. How low can you go? Go low as a narcissist to try to make them feel what you felt. It just doesn't work like that. You have to learn to avoid the narcissist. You have to set boundaries for yourself, for what you will and will not allow in your life. Once you have the education and you spot the red flags, you don't question yourself. You trust your gut and you move on. I'm just saying, y'all. You have to get away from these people, y'all. Don't let these life coaches tell y'all all these different things about how the narcissist feels about you. They don't have any damn feelings, y'all. Most, if not all, narcissists have a seer conscience. They couldn't care less. A lot of y'all want y'all you want y'all ears tickled. You want to believe this stuff. I know I was there, so I'm pretty sure you want to believe this stuff. It's not real. And what, that, what that'll do is leave, let, make you leave the door open for the narcissist to contact you because you feel that they're going to say something because they learned their lesson. Y'all, that's the farthest thing from the truth. And if you're telling yourself that, you're setting yourself up for failure. That's what you're doing. You're going to fail the mission. I guarantee you. You'll be right back where you started off, but worse. They'll come back to tear you down even further. If you think the first or second time you've been back with something, you've seen nothing yet. If you believe some of these life coaches and believe the narcissist misses you and that you're the best thing that they ever had. Nobody is good enough for a narcissist. I don't care what supply you were. Their appetite for supply 
and mistreating people is insatiable. You're not special. Nobody is to a narcissist. I need for some of y'all to get that. I do. You're not special to the narcissist. I don't care what you're telling yourself. I always say, I tell people to ignore them. But guess what? Ignoring a narcissist is not going to just be enough. Only having absolutely no contact with the narcissist is necessary. You have to block them from all methods of contact. Email, phone, WhatsApp, Facebook messaging. Block them from all social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I don't care if it's Pinterest. Gaming apps. I'm just saying. Don't give them the opportunity to see your posts and like them or comment on them. This will only destabilize you and put you back in your recovery. Don't be tempted to look at their posts. Even if they don't know you're doing it, it still mentally counts as reaching out to them. Obviously, blocking them will also remove this temptation from you. It's an added bonus. Remember, sometimes, y'all, closing some doors are necessary. Not because of pride, you know, incapacity, or arrogance, but simply because they no longer lead to somewhere. They don't go anywhere. You just have to erase the messages. Delete the numbers and move on, y'all. And you don't have to forget who that person was to you. Only accept that they aren't that person anymore. I hope I help somebody. I really hope I help somebody. You know, I'm going to leave you with this, y'all. Ignoring the narcissist, going no contact with the narcissist, it cuts off the attention supply and removes you from the immediate circle of destruction. But keeping on ignoring them isn't just the only thing you have to do. You have to realize narcissists use all kinds of tactics to reach out to you. This is why I always tell y'all, you have to cut them out like a cancer. Cut them off. Give them nothing. You have to point us, you have to starve them of your attention and deprive them of a chance to use any form of manipulation to get you back. And guess what? They will keep going until they find someone else to take your role in their lives. And this is why I say, let them get somebody else to do it. They have a lot of willing participants who don't mind wasting their life away with a narcissist. Don't let it be you, right? I hope I help somebody. I really hope I help somebody. You guys, that's it for this video. Hope I help somebody. Take the time out to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your bell so you will know when I'm coming through with another video. Until next time.